Oh dear. <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. Oh, it's been one of those, uh, one of those, yeah, <coughs> morning. Uh, it's early today, it's uh, quarter past six. Uh, I thought I'd, uh, I'd bet to uh, give you a lot of, a little bit of a video, I suppose, just to, Say, hi, I'm here. I do still exist. I haven't fucking walked off the mortal coil. So I'm just making myself a cup of coffee because you have to make yourself a cup of coffee, it's important. First thing in the morning, considering I haven't had any yet since I got up. Uh, I am so tired. Yesterday, it was a bunch of fun, because yesterday I um, had to do a, a bit of a restack on a particular job. Um, one of our drivers, one of, one of Nelson's drivers, there's a bunch of um, this bag of stuff. I was told that it's, it's stuff that, um, that they make the ad blue with, I think. but. How, how true that is, I don't know. I think it was. I think it was. It says it said um, nitrogen or hydrogen. It, it was in crystal form anyway. Whatever the fuck it was, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but when it came in the yard, it was virtually bulging out the side of the curtain. So I had a had a bash at it to see if I could do something with it. <laughs> and lo and behold, I did. Put some more water in the kettle, cause the kettle is running dry. Blue oh, yes. or not, mate, I haven't got eyes in the back of my head. Fucking papping your own. <coughs> do, 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 do. Yes, I am I am the glorified gate button pushing today, yeah. I don't mind though, because I am, um, I'll tell you, after doing what I did yesterday, I am aching from head to toe. I just ain't physical anymore. No. <clears throat> I am, uh, I'm a bit lazy, realistically. I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a do-nothing kind of guy, you know what I mean? I, I like to do nothing. I don't like work. Work, work is, a, is a disease. It's just a disease that you just... Yeah, you can't escape, unfortunately. <coughs> and uh, eventually it just ends your life. And that's the end of it. Done. And what have you achieved through your working life? Not a fucking fat guy. I've got to uh, I've got to get in touch with these people to see if I can change the address for the delivery. I've got a parcel coming, not that I wanted a fucking parcel coming, but I've got a parcel coming. Oh man, I'll tell you what, right, I, right, officially am banning myself from eBay. I'm not doing it again. I can't. I've got to, I've got to stop. Because in my, in my old age, I think I'm... I'm becoming either stupid or, or something or senile or something stupid. I just don't know. <clears throat> End up spending money I didn't want to spend. So oh. right, I'm just I'm just getting myself set up. <laughs> See, you have to have the creature comforts. It's just, it's just one of those things you, you have to do it. And I tell you what, I'm getting pretty warm in here somewhere. Oh, this, uh, this jacket, it's, um, it's a little bit snug. <coughs> 
it's an it's a large it's a i should have had the fucking extra large but i, I didn't realize i thought large was good enough because i thought that's what i had originally uh, i do like this stuff though it's very comfortable but it's fucking warm okay that doesn't look good I'm not sure whether that's somebody's hair or that's a fucking pubic hair. It's one of those things, it's like, what do people get up to when they're in here? What do they actually do? Um, I've got some... Whose DNA is that on there? What the fuck? <laughs> well, you know, it's you just gotta be done, ain't you? You have to give it a bit of a wipe off just to keep things a bit tidy. It would be nice if uh, if I actually kept my house in the same kind of order. I don't get that all. I really don't. I mean, whether it's because my house is just so fucking big and it's just too overwhelming, I don't know. But be calm. Be <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> calm. Spotless. When it, when it, when I get me fucking truck, that's still dead to me. Fucking thing blew up. Oh, when. It's been down the road because the freaking uh, the front brake caliper was was sticking on and off. Uh, so they come back after that. I don't even think I managed to drive it. Oh, what did I? No, I don't think I drove it then when it came back because I was in here. And then um, I was, I've been in here since the week before Christmas. And then when I come back off for Christmas, um, it went backwards and forwards a few times, and then all of a sudden. The lad, the lad who was driving it, he pulled from underneath the trailer and a big cloud of smoke puffed out the exhaust pipe and uh, it just made a right racket and stopped. And then when he tried to turn it back on again, it started for a split second and then just went poof and then that was it then. He just went, yeah, yeah, and just now we now. So my uh, truck's pretty sick. So um, the Saturday just gone, we had to uh, stick it onto a low loader so it can get sent down the road and uh, repaired. I just hope it comes back. But on the um, on the off chance that it doesn't come back, I whipped my speakers out. Yes, I took um, I took mine out and put the original ones back in again, just in case it doesn't come back. So it seems fair, doesn't it? Really, you know what I mean? But if it does come back and I end up driving it again, eventually, then at least I've got my truck back and I, you know what I mean, so, and I can put my speakers in and then get it all titivated back up again. But the surprising thing about that though, um, when I actually got in it on the weekend, it wasn't that dirty, I was quite impressed actually. It's been kept reasonably tidy, so uh, maybe they just got the got the gist of it i suppose and thought well we better keep it clean and tidy or whatever i don't know but there you have it anyway <coughs> what was it what are we on now it's on tuesday yeah, we're now wednesday uh, was it was it monday night or was it fucking i think it was monday might have been monday actually um i was looking on ebay like this is the reason why i, I want to i need to ban myself off ebay um, I come across uh, a job lot of watches, right? There must be at least 50 of these things, right? All shapes and sizes from men's watches to women's watches, there's, there's loads. And they're old, right? There was one particular watch in there that I looked at. Uh, it wasn't working, there was no, no display on it. 
Um, but I'm I'm convinced, but I'm probably wrong. But I'm convinced that it's one of the early seventies um, red LED watches. I'm hoping. I mean, I might be completely wrong. You know what I mean, which that's very very possible. But I'm hoping not. And um, if so, I'm going to try and get that to work, and that that'll be a, a nice little find. But the problem, the reason why I want to ban myself, I think. Oh man. So there I am looking at the the uh, the bid, and it was on about eleven and a half quid. Well, that's not bad. So I'm waiting for the time to tick away, and um, eventually I make a bid, and I was the highest bidder for about fucking five minutes, and then I got a bid again. And eventually got up to around about 30, 39 quid. And I'd got up my little, because you have a window open up where you, uh, re, you know, review your bid like. So I got 46 quid ready to go, right? And I'm poised. <clears throat> and because I'm also doing something on the TV as well, and because I was doing something on the computer, um, I'm like doing that and quickly glancing and doing that and, and all of a sudden the time's getting done I'm like right and I'm like shit it's gone I'm trying to change it but I couldn't change it I think ah fuck it it's gone too much but as I tried to hit the button instead of hitting the button and it being um, like a what would it be confirmed for the £46 because the zero is is it directly above the confirm button? I had hit the zero and the confirm button at the same time, <coughs> <coughs> and that was at um, one second. Now, have you ever heard of winning a bid on one second? That's just never heard of because it takes shit loads of time for it to actually connect and do its thing. It was as if it was like, happened in milliseconds this shit did. And the highest bid from me, which the colour literally fucking drained from my head, ate me toes and went all over the floor like a fucking river of mush. 460 quid, I'm like, fucking hell, what have I done, what have I done? I can't do it no more, this is no good. And, uh, Oh, I won it, because I'm thinking, no, no, don't win it, don't win it, don't win it, you've missed it, you missed it, it was one second, you're fine, you won it, it's one second, you're fine, you won it. I won? How the fuck is that possible? I fucking won? No! And I'm looking at how much, how much was it? And it turned out to be um, 109 quid. <laughs> but what I don't get is how it jumped from 39 pound and change to a hundred and nine pound in literally two seconds. I'm I'm bewildered on that one. That's just insane. Needless to say, I won the fucking bid, and <clears throat> I'm just glad that eBay will only um, it charges the highest bid. Right? If you max it, it doesn't matter. You ain't got to pay what you bid. You just pay what the winning bid is. You just outdo them. <coughs> so it was 109 quid I think in bulky now unbelievable but um, yeah it was hair raising so I've had to move a few bits and bobs about just to cover the cost of it like you know I didn't want to but uh, hey ho you live and learn oh man it's a bit like that other one when I did when I I spent uh, on one watch was 127 quid. I oh, know, I'm insane, I really am. The thing is though, right, when you've got something you enjoy and you like it, you know, you, you just do, don't you? And I, I don't want to, I'll be honest with you. <coughs> oh, this is doing my This is. There's I've got some rap around my fucking vocal cords, it does me a dig. Right, um, I would love to actually and be able to buy a really expensive watch. Um, I'm talking thousands, but that will never happen. Why? Because I'm too busy spending my shit on piddly little crap. You know what I mean? So. Oh. oh, no. Uh. But, 
unfortunately, yeah, these are the sort of things that I do, and I'm a fool to myself sometimes. I really am a fool to myself, but whatever. When these lot come, I'll be able to uh, go through them. It'll give me, it'll give me something to do, I suppose, because there's, um, there's a few digital watches in there that the displays aren't working properly. That's not a problem. That's an easy fix. It's not as if it's difficult. <coughs> oh. oh, I just ache. I ache from head to toe. Oh, do you know what? Doing physical work, I just, I ain't used to it. I really ain't. And here's the best part. The only physical work I actually did was ratcheting the straps up. That was it. That's all I did. Just ratcheting the straps up. I mean, what the fuck? Is that is that difficult? Is that really is that fucking hard? Yeah, it is. Especially when there's, um, let me think. How did it go? There was uh, two, four, six. Was it eight? I think it was, wasn't it? So there's four straps at the front of the trailer over the bags. And I had to make sure that those were done properly because they weren't. I don't know how, how, how you can not fucking ratchet a strap properly, but apparently it's a thing. So uh, I had to correct them and make sure those are nice and tight. Because it's this granule stuff inside these bags, um, how can I explain it? They react a little bit like fluid, right? More like a, a, a viscous fluid. It's very, it's rigid when it when you hit it, but then if it when it settles, it starts to move, you know. And, and it, it just yeah. Anyway, so um, when you tighten the straps down, what have we got here? Can you? Oh shit! That's a oh shit. It, yeah, it does, I think. Oh, I mean, hang on a minute, I'll be with you in a sec. Uh, what's he got? Because when you uh, pull down on these and you've got this thin strap that goes across, right, and it's on the bag, it'll start to sink because it starts to displace the, the, uh, the granule around it. So you have to keep constantly checking it and retightening these things up until it comes to the point where it won't settle anymore. So you're having to keep constantly going around the truck with not just those four on the front, but the double stacked, which was, there's another, um, Eight, so there's 16 and so there's a, a, a eight on the deck eight on top four ratchet straps on each stack to keep them upright because obviously with them being bean bags basically fucking giant almost bean bags um, and how they had them originally I'm, not, I'm sort of like bewildered to ever fucking loaded the darn thing <clears throat> the first eight on the on the front on the front of the trailer straight to the bed perfect no problem the next set of eight which there was double stacked were on pallets and i'm scratching my head looking at this when i first opened the curtain because you couldn't have missed it the fucking thing was like bulging right out the side of the curtain because it slipped off and i'm looking at it and i'm thinking so why 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 are these on pallets I'm at a loss now. I'm, I'm really am. I'm confused as to why they've put pallets on the floor of the trailer and then double stacked the bags. Because when you put the bag on top of another bag and it moves, the stuff that's in the top bag is going to now fill the gap below because if it slips across, it's going to fill it, right? And as it fills it, it'll push the top of the bag on the bottom across and then and it's sort of like 
it'll sort of like do this effect, it'll get like that, right? And it pushes it across. And of course, it'll just slip. So when you double stack bags like that, you normally, as I, as I know, I mean, this is how I did it, you put the pallet in between, so it's got a flat, rigid plane to sit on. Then it's gonna, it might do this a little bit, but it's not going to go th and just fucking chuck itself out the side of the trailer like it did. So of course, doing that, you then you I'll do a cross ratchet, um, so it goes across the front, so like it'd be like across the front, over the top and down, same with the side. <coughs> Across the front, over the top and down, and then reverse it. Right, so basically you have four ratchet strap on each double stack. Wow, talk about fucking hell! I, I was exhausted. On it, it was crippling me because you have to keep constantly going around all these things, making sure they're tight. And I'm, I am aching. I'm like literally, I'm fucking like, I'm like a zombie. <laughs> and when I got home. <clears throat> After all said and done, I went home and I lay on the floor in the, in the living room and the pain in my back and my shoulders and my arms and my legs and my hips, I mean, I'm just like, it was taking my breath away, I'm like, fuck, oh, crap, Jesus. And then the, it dawned on me, I'd already ordered a pizza and I'm lying on the floor, not a pizza, sorry, a Chinese, I'd ordered a Chinese and I was lying on the floor and I'm like, fuck. I can't get up. <laughs> what happens if I come to the door and I'm stuck on the... I'm like, fuck, I can't get up. And I'm like... And the pain trying to get back up off, off the floor. Jesus wept. Honestly. Fuck me, drunk. It was unreal. But... Um, I managed to fucking peel myself off the floor. I, I, I ought to have videoed it, really, because it was quite funny. Painful, but it was funny. I understood how funny it was. It was brilliant. So, um, once I got back off the floor, about uh, 20 minutes later, the pizza came, and then, uh, why do I keep saying pizza? I didn't have a fucking pizza. Where's this pizza shit come from? I had a fucking Chinese. Is there somebody else fucking talking here or what? Because it's got to be. Because it certainly ain't fucking me. I had a Chinese. It was yummy. Brilliant. Not a pizza. A fucking Chinese. Oh, look. see, it's I can't even fucking speak right here. I'm fucking losing it. I am. <laughs> I've gone. I'm fucking sad anyway. Ta-da. Oh, man. Oh. So once the Chinese came, and it's probably because I have so many fucking pizzas, I'm just so used to it, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, then I, I fucking <coughs> hobbled myself to the door, paid that, chowed down on that, and it was fucking busting. I tell you what, oh, man, it was gorgeous. I do have just one particular uh, meal from the China. I don't. I ain't. I ain't really that venturous to be honest with you. But I have found one on there that is just absolutely fucking awesome. So that's pretty much what I do. I have that, and um, <clears throat> with a few added extras, like um, there's these small uh, chicken pancake rolls. I have three of those because they do a three and a three and a five or three and a six. Whatever like that. I have three of them. I have the fried wonton as well, which is just nuts. And I asked them for an extra large sweet and sour sauce because the small pot just ain't quite enough. You need to have that. Because when once I've built this fucking mound on this fucking great big serving plate, you have to then just pour this fucking constant flow of... of oh, it's just mind-blowing. Oh. Unreal. Uh, no wonder I'm a fat fuck. Jesus, I've got to lose some weight, I really have. But saying that though, I've got fucking cake, biscuits and sandwiches, but I ain't in the right mood for losing weight in it. I mean, I, I just, uh, it's pissing me off that I'm struggling to put my jeans on. I know it's, you know, and to, to actually put my socks on my feet's a bit of a shit bag as well, that's doing me in. So, I mean, I might, uh, I might venture on losing some weight at some point or other, but I ain't the right mind for it. Maybe soon. I don't know. I might be able to start it when I actually start driving again. There's a possibility, either. Yeah.
Who cares? Well, other than that, yeah, it's all good fun, isn't it? Aye, aye, here comes Dave. What does he want? I must be loaded. 